good morning, good afternoon from wherever it is that you guys find yourselves at today. So me and Missy are coming to you live to go ahead and debrief chapter 15. Ch uh, the title of chapter 15 is you are a perfect yet expanding being in a perfect yet expanding world in a perfect yet expanding universe. So in this chapter, there's a lot of bullet points um, in which it expresses to us in many ways repetition um, on how to go ahead and go about understanding who we are and where we are. And I guess for me, one of the things that I'm going to uh, bring about that is very interesting when I, as soon as I was reading just the, the title of the chapter, I, I studied astronomy, astrology, right? And one of the things that I studied about in astrology is that they that the reason that we are only able to see so much of the universe is because it continuously expands, right? There is no such thing as a universe. Just because we can see this much of a focal point doesn't mean that that's how much is actually within our reach. There's so much more that we can see because it expands way beyond our own technology to go and explore it all, right? And one of the things that I learned is that every time there is a death star, right? which is basically a star that has come to its fusing with all of its hydrogen within itself. What happens with that star is that it basically explodes and it becomes a supernova. And Ooh. so, yes. And so these supernovas now release new, um, new uh, like atoms into, into space. But because of this explosion, there has to be space for this explosion to happen. So every time that there's a new explosion happening, the universe is expanding some more and expanding some more and expanding some more. So no matter what happens out there in the universe, it is always expanding, whether it's the death of a star or a newborn star or a, or a moon or, you know, or a sun, it's always expanding to make room for it, right? Like, for example, our solar system, it is beautifully created. It is there. Therefore, everything else around it needs to expand so that we can stay here, right? So, which is to keep the creation basically for us to continue living. So as I'm reading this, I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness. And it makes sense even in terms of like, we live in an expanding world, right? From where I was and my programming to where I am today, I can see the world so much more bigger. And what do I mean by that? I mean, like now I've traveled more where I get to see more backyards and realize, wow, what a small world yet it's so expansive I don't, I don't think i'll ever be able to reach every single corner crevice on this earth before i leave should i you know choose to travel the world right there's so much there's so much to be uncovered and then and then when it says that we're an expanded expanding being it just makes me feel like this is the reason why we're growing ever, since the moment that we were born since the moment that we were born, everything was expanding. Inside, the cells were expanding to create a fetus. The fetus becomes now a baby, a baby becomes a toddler, so on and so forth. And we'd never stop growing. We can be sheltered in a corner and not learn anything about life. Our body, our cells are still expanding no matter what. So when just the title itself gave me like a big, wow, it just goes to show like there really is no limits. There really is no limit. As long as we decide to stay focused and truly believe, right, that we live in this expansive world and universe, then anything is possible. And if it's not possible for us, it's going to be possible for the next generation because we planted the seed already. Mm -hmm. Right? So I guess one of the things that I'm going to say for me that I got, thank you. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to say that I got was, it says here, when a desire is focused within you, 
the summoning of creative life force immediately begins to flow towards your desire and the universe expands and that is good. And so the way that I'm taking it is once we independently have found that one thing that brings us joy and love and happiness and abundance, that is a focused desire. We are focusedly choosing to think of these things that we feel. Therefore, it's growing. Creating a desire means with force, right? So a desire is focused within myself. And once I have this focused desire, then I start to summon, you know, the energy that lives within me. I start to, I start to have full control over this newborn energy that's just ready to do something about this desire that I'm cultivating inside. And by me doing that, right? It's telling me that the universe is now expanding. So the way that I feel is like it's expanding because it needs to move people, mountains, and situations out of the way so that I can get to that desired outcome. And to me, that's just like, wow, that is why they say love will move mountains and not the love that we have intimately with two people, the love that the higher consciousness has for us. So that was such a good one for me that I can leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I was wanting more from you, mama. I was like, <laughs> wow, especially with, yes, with all that extra universe stuff you have in your brain. That is beautiful. I, I love what you just said about um, things just really just, you know, the universe just making room. And just like right now with 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 that um, buffer, you know, if we go back to the last chapter, I think it was that buffer period where things are probably also moving around to um, come, you know, make, make sure that what we want is what we truly are trying to attract and, you know, go ahead and bring it in. So that's, is, that is just beautiful altogether that that was amazing I actually did not know any of that supernova stuff <laughs> so thank you for sharing that that was super cool um so I guess for me um just kind of so for me I would I'm just gonna kind of go in general um there was a lot of bullet points that kind of just summed up the fact of like you mentioned how expansive um the universe is and I feel like just kind of going back to I feel like a lot of people you know and, and just looking at technology look at all the the stuff that we have like we're constantly moving mm. and just you know what I mean like things are just continuously just just growing and just moving and moving and, and that's what we get you know we always we're always going for more and more and more and that just goes to show you that, wow, like why even limit yourself altogether with your creative juices um, and, and setting limitations on yourself because they're, tr you know what I mean? You are your only true limitation ultimately. So it's like, if all this can occur, like you said, and things are just going to move out the way for you, if you know, this is truly what you want, go for it. Like mm -hmm. that to me is just so amazing. Like that just, you know, the, there's so much support there. Like, just just do it like you you have all this to you know what I mean this whole canvas to create whatever you want and just go for it because it, it, it is just a beautiful thing altogether that we have the opportunity to just experience this um you know this this creativeness and you know this physical reality and just to be able to see it and especially where we are right now I feel like we are definitely in a certain sweet spot where we can kind of see some of the things from the past, kind of see where things were and see how much we've evolved all together. And, and, you know what I mean? It's like, wow. And, and it's, it's just going to continuously, like, it's just going to keep going. So it's, it, it just goes to show, you know, that we are continuously, like you said, things are just moving and, and expanding out of the way to just do more and just be greater. So definitely take advantage of this people, please take advantage of this 
enjoy this, have fun with it. You know, this is, this is all for us. And this is something that this book just really wants us to just to just wants us to remember and remind us of how beautiful we can truly make this experience if we w really, really want to. So as always, would love to hear what everyone has gotten from this chapter. Super, super amazing. Um, wishing everyone an expansive, unlimitless journey ahead. And please, please share, comment, and stay in touch and, and just continue to support each other along the way. So we definitely love you all and can't wait to see you in the next chapter. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you love. So much. Thank you, Missy.